Hello kindergarten, so today we are going to start this shape ice cream cone collage. And our paper is going to be made up of three different shapes. So let's talk about the shape of our ice cream scoops. We have four scoops of ice cream, two strawberry, and two chocolate. So I want you to think in your head without calling out what shape are our ice cream scoops here? What shape is this? Okay, did you think circle? If you thought circle, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't think circle, give me a thumbs down, okay? Now let's look at the cone of the ice cream cone. What shape is this down here that the cone is made up of? What shape is this? Think in your head without calling out. This is a triangle kindergarten, so thumbs up if you knew it was a triangle, thumbs down if you didn't. Okay, and then finally the big blue paper and this white paper. What shape is the big blue paper and what shape is the big white paper? Think in your head without calling out. Rectangle. Did you think rectangle? If so, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't think rectangle, give me a thumbs down. So the way that we're going to start this ice cream cone collage is you're going to get a blue piece of paper. And the first thing you need to do is write your name on it. I may have already written your name on there for you, but if I haven't, you're going to write your name and the day you have art underneath your name, like day A, day B, day C. And then you're going to get a white rectangle paper. This is the only time you're going to use this white paper is for this one part. And you're going to glue this down to the center of the blue paper. So you need to open your glue up. Remember that we don't twist open the big part of the glue, just the pointy part. And you're going to twist and then pick off any dry glue you have on the tip of the glue bottle. And then you're going to put a dot of glue at each corner of your rectangle. How many corners does a rectangle have? Think in your head and let's count together. One, two, three, four. Four corners to a rectangle. So we should have four dots of glue because we're going to put a dot of glue in each corner. So four dots of glue, one in each corner, and then you're going to pick this up and flip it over and you're going to put it in the middle of the blue paper. You won't put it up high like this because that's not in the middle. You won't put it down low like this because that's not in the middle. You're going to put it right in the middle of the blue paper. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a tan rectangle piece of paper. Now the tan paper is a lighter brown paper. You're going to see in your bin that you have some brown squares. See how different this is? This is a square. This is a rectangle. They're very different. This one's dark. This one's light. You're looking for the tan rectangle. And then you want to find a triangle pattern out of your basket. You're going to put the triangle pattern on top of your tan paper. So I know that the tan kind of blends in with my... Um, my table. So I'm going to move the tan onto the blue so you can see it a little bit easier. And then the way that you trace around or use a, a pattern is you trace around it. And you're not going to trace around it like this. Because look, if I remove this triangle, does this shape look like this shape? Not even close, not even close. So the reason that you use a pattern is so that you can trace around it. Now, I'm using a marker, but you're gonna use a pencil. I'm using a marker so you can see on the screen. So when you trace with your pencil, you put your pencil right against the edge of the pattern, and you use your pencil to draw right against the edge. So you pull your pencil along the side of the shape so that when you remove the shape, it looks like this. It should look like this. Now you're done with this pattern. This pattern you're borrowing from me. So you're not gonna cut on this pattern. You're not gonna glue on this pattern. So this goes back in the bin and you're gonna take your small scissors and you're gonna cut this triangle out. And then recycle your scraps. Put them in a blue recycle bin. Now, you're gonna put a dot of glue on each corner of the triangle. Let's count to see how many corners there are in a triangle. One, two, three. Three corners to a triangle, so you're gonna need three dots of glue. Now you're gonna flip this over, and you need to put the point of the triangle down against the edge of the blue. If you don't put the point of the triangle down at the edge of the blue, you won't have enough room on your paper for your ice cream scoop. So you've gotta put it right at the bottom of the blue paper. Now you're going to make the ice cream scoops. So you're going to need square paper. So we have square brown for chocolate and square pink for strawberry. You get to decide which one you're going to do first. I'm going to do strawberry first. So get a circle pattern, put it in the middle of the square, use your pencil 
and put your pencil right against the circle and go all the way around the circle pattern with your pencil. This shape should look like this shape. Okay, if they don't look the same, then you didn't trace properly. This is my circle pattern, so you're not gonna cut this, you're not gonna glue this. Set that down, because you still need it. And you're gonna use your scissors to cut out this circle pattern. Now, you're going to turn the paper, not your scissors. Your scissors are gonna stay just like this, facing forward. You're not gonna bend them and make them go around the circle. So I'm gonna put the paper in my scissors, and I'm gonna cut up to the circle, and then I'm gonna turn my paper, notice my scissors are still staying forward, and I'm gonna turn my paper very slowly and carefully until I get all the way around the circle. And I went really slow so that this looks like this. If they don't look the same, then I did something wrong. So here's my first ice cream scoop. I'm gonna put a circle of glue on the back, a small circle of glue on the back. And then I'm gonna flip this over and glue this touching the top of my ice cream cone, touching the top of my triangle, just like that. So now I'm gonna do the opposite of what I did here. I did strawberry, so now I'm gonna do chocolate. So I put my, I get a square piece of brown paper, not the rectangle tan paper, but the square brown paper. Put my circle pattern down, trace around it carefully, making sure my pencil is touching the edge. And then I'm going to cut. Remember that I keep my scissors facing forward and I turn the paper. I don't turn the scissors. Then you're gonna put a circle of glue, a small circle of glue around the edge and you're gonna flip this over and you're gonna make this circle touch this circle. Now I started with strawberry. You might've started with chocolate and now you're doing strawberry where I'm doing chocolate and that's okay. These scraps that you make, you're gonna recycle these. Put these in a blue recycle bin. So what comes after, so I've got a stra one strawberry and one chocolate. I need two more scoops. So I need to do another strawberry and another chocolate. So I'm gonna get another pink square paper, not rectangle, but pink square. Get my circle pattern, lay it down, trace around it with my pencil, cut it out, keeping my scissors straight forward and just turning the paper. Circle of glue, small circle of glue around the back, flip it over and I'm gonna make this circle touch this circle. And then finally my last scoop, because I need four scoops, one, two, three, I need a four scoop. It's chocolate this time. I needed square brown paper, not a rectangle tan paper, but a square brown paper. And I'm gonna trace around my circle pattern. I'm gonna keep my scissors straight and cut this out. These scraps go in the recycle bin, one of the blue recycle bins, a circle of glue on the back of the circle. Flip it over, I'm gonna make this circle touch this circle and my brown sticks up off the top of my blue and that's okay. So if your top scoop sticks off the top of your blue paper, that's okay. And now we're almost finished. We have one last detail to add to our ice cream cone is we need to add the texture, the patterns of squares onto our cone. So you're gonna get a brown crayon and you're gonna take the brown crayon, and if you make a mistake, you can't erase crayons, so just do the best you can. You're gonna take a brown crayon, and you're gonna draw diagonal lines on the triangle. So diagonal lines start off low, and they go really high, or they start off high, and then they go low as you draw them. So I'm gonna draw lines this way, and now I'm gonna turn and draw diagonal lines going this way that cross over each other. And that's how I get these square shapes on my triangle. And there I have my finished ice cream, shape ice cream cone collage. And it's ready for the drying rack. Good job, Kinder.